Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review, so it's 4.41 p.m., and it's Monday, December 30th, 2019, tomorrow's the last day of 2019. But anyway, um, a few days ago, I found some new coffee drinks at my local Walmart Supercenter. Um, these are around $2, so I guess they're okay priced. But anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the original Black Rise Nitro Cold Brew Coffee, like coffee drink. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be reviewing this one first, because you know it's the original black coffee one. Um, my next one I'm gonna be doing the latte one and then the mocha one. So you know. If anyone anyway, has silver top with like a silver tab, it's like a European style tab too. And the bottom is the Best Buy date, August 10th, 2020. So it's still fresh for a while. Rise Brewing Company, Original Black Nitro Cold Blue Brew Coffee. I almost said blue, but you know what I mean. Naturally sweet, low acidity, clean energy. USA Organic, no sugar, no dairy, 7 fluid ounces, 207 milliliters. Serve cold. Fuel your mind. Serve cold. We're four friends with one goal. Make high quality, great tasting beverages with the freshest organic ingredients we can source. Our cold brew is made with purified water and organic beans, nothing else. We infuse our coffee with nitrogen, giving it a creamy, sweet, and refreshingly smooth taste. It's all good. Let the frothy cascade rise to the top and enjoy. Gluten-free, non-GMO. Has the Ardall Group logo, some other codes, and the SKU. At Rise Brewing Company, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It has some recycling stuff. Nutrition facts, serving size 1 can amount per serving calories, 0. Total fat, 0 grams, 0 percent. Sodium, 0 milligrams, 0 percent. Potassium, 0 milligrams, 0 percent. Total carbs, 0 grams, 0 percent. Sugar, 0 grams. Protein, 0 grams. Has the other ingredients. It's just purified water and organic coffee. Distributed by Rise Brewing Company, New York, New York, 10002. Certified organic by CCOF. Two cups of coffee, 180 milligrams natural caffeine. Please recycle. Born in New York City. So yeah, it has 180 milligrams of caffeine. So, you know, it'll get you pretty lit if you drink the entire can. You know, just saying. Um, the other two flavors, I think, only have like 80 milligrams caffeine. Yeah, the latte one and the mocha one only have 80 milligrams caffeine. So, you know. But anyway, I'll let you see the can right quick. And I got the best condition cans, but, you know, they're still dented. And the paint's scraped up. So, you know. Like right there, you know. Okay. I'm sorry, my finger's dirty. I had to carry my tire while, while ago because, you know, um, I got a nail in it like two days ago on Saturday when I took my brother to work. Like, I guess there was like a nail or something sharp in the road, like at the gas station, like right before Walmart, which is before the McDonald's, you know, in my town. And um, when I drove by there, you know, I felt like my car made a noise and then my tire started to go flat, so, you know. So that sucks. So I had to put a spare tire on my car. And I took my tire to the tire place a while ago. And they fixed it. So, you know. So I didn't have to buy a new tire, but you know. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the whole can. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. You probably shouldn't shake it up too much because, you know, it's cold brew. It might explode a little bit when you open it. But anyway, I'm going to open it right quick and taste it and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. And, yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have shook it up. But I just barely shook it up. At least I didn't shake it up more. Um, because that would have been probably really messy, you know? Just saying. Okay, the color's like a dark brown color. So, you know, it's very frothy. What was when I opened it, you know? Decided it's more like a little bit liquidy. Maybe a little bit creamy, but the smell... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely very strong black coffee smell. 
It also has like like original cold brew coffee smell. Cold brew coffee um has a little bit of a more distinct coffee smell. Um, the frappe or frappuccino or whatever from um, Burger King is actually a cold brew kind. Even though you can get it with like the caramel sauce and stuff. So it has a little bit of like a stronger coffee taste than like the McDonald's frappe, you know. Um, this smells like the Burger King frappe a little bit. Um, but definitely a stronger coffee smell because, you know, that was like caramel at Burger King. This one's just like normal coffee. It smells a little bit like the, um, what was it? I reviewed another, like, one of these, like, cold brew type drinks, like, not too recently. I think it was the High Brews, I think. It smells like that. So, you know, very strong coffee smell. But anyway, now I'm going to try it, so here goes. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit bitter. And very strong black coffee flavor. And cold brew coffee, you know? Really strong flavor. Really pungent. Really dark tasting. Really strong coffee flavor, you know? Really strong. When I first took a drink... Um, there's like a little bit of a coffee particle, you know, but on the second sip I took, it didn't have the coffee particle, so you know, but yeah, you know, it's definitely very strong coffee flavor. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of like black coffee. When I drink coffee, I normally put like milk in it and like sugar and you know, like creamer sometimes, but anyway, yeah, that's just like a really strong original like coffee flavor with the nitro cold brew, you know. So it's like um, really strong. Probably be a good breakfast drink. Probably go good with like pancakes or waffles or French toast. It's a good way to start your day. It has a pretty good amount of caffeine. Almost 200. It has 180 milligrams caffeine. So drinking the entire can will get you lit, boys. It will get you lit. It will get you lit. Just saying. It's okay. Price is around $2 at Walmart. Energy wise for this one. I would say it lasts about two and a half hours to about three and a half hours of energy. So, you know, it works pretty good. Energy-wise, it's strong. It has okay priced. Um, Flavor-wise, it's like really strong coffee. Like really strong. You might not like it. I don't really like it too much, but I still think it's okay. I could probably finish the can, but, you know, probably wouldn't buy more of this flavor, though. I might buy more of the other flavors, which I'm going to be reviewing, though. Um, but anyway, I still think it's okay. I'm going to give the original black cold brew coffee rice coffee drink or whatever. I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, an 8 out of 10. It's okay. Um, It's not like a disgusting, like really strong, bitter black coffee taste. Um, It does have like a little bit of a black coffee taste, but um, it has a little bit sweet because of the cream in it. It's a little bit creamy, you know. So, it's like not too strong, but it is definitely strong though, coffee flavor wise. So yeah, it could have been a little bit sweeter. But you know, energy wise it works good and it's okay priced. So you know, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Definitely try it though if you can find it. So ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. Anyway, my next review, I'm going to be reviewing the classic latte flavored one of these drinks. Sitting for that review. Some more outcome reviews, some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.